world number one in the house. After falling down the stairs and bruising his back at the Masters, Dustin Johnson returned to competition after more than a month off Thursday at the Wells Fargo Championship, shooting two under par. And after his round, he said physically he felt great and it showed. DJ got right back in the saddle and set himself up for birdie on his third hole of the day. The FedEx Cup leader may be good, but a little luck never hurts either. I'm asking for this one to go. This is at it, but it needs to hurt to carry the bunker. Oh, I've had plenty. All right. And this is going to get a whole lot better. Well, and you're good, you're good, and you sometimes get a little lucky. Speaking of luck, patience is a virtue, John Rahm. Oh, watch the guy with the flag. Which way? <laughs> What's that? Must be left, I guess. He's waving all over. Oh, clank. Perfect. Lost a little yardage, but boy, he'll take that. After his round, DJ said he felt like he played great. He just couldn't get some of those putts to roll in in round one, but he says his health is in great order. He just needs a few more reps to get under his belt. He is looking to become the first since Tiger Woods in 2007 and 2008 to win four straight starts in a row, but he's gonna have to get through the likes of Francesco Molinari. How's this for a finish? Molinari with the walk-off chip in to take the lead. Why not go ahead and just make it for a six under 66 to open up? He wasn't the only one with wedge wizardry today. Oh, nicely done. Oh. I think Sung Young No even surprised himself on this one. And how's Billy Hurley the third with the third one of the day? But the shot of the day goes to Greg Owen from 64 feet out in the rough. Here we go. Whoosh. But of course, the one true wizard is Phil Mickelson. And why not break out the flop shot from the fringe? At least he kept that one in play. And I just want to clarify, it wasn't me that hit you. I am sorry. The clouds are rolling in and it's sprinkling right now as we wrap on day one here at the Wells Fargo Championship. We expect to get rain overnight and into the morning, but that's okay. You can still catch us at 7 a.m. Eastern time on PGA Tour Live and you can catch me on social media and the Wells Fargo Social Hub.